Lower. Here we go. Germany playing uh, quickly. Very much their style of play. Energetic from Stark now. Does manage to hold on to it. Into the box. Chance for Fisher here. You can come. Oh, lovely turn. Gets the shot off. And it's a tap in, or is it? Well, well, well. What a save that is by Suzuki. A golden opportunity for Alidu to give Germany the lead. Really should be scoring from there. Credit to Suzuki for getting back across and making. There's Faride Alidu again. Fisher with the cross in towards the near post and very nearly catching Suzuki out of position. Again, ball in. Alidu takes it on for a second time. Forcing that can come, but can't control it. Kimura, Germany. Gankam. Able to hold on to it, then tries to topo come. Powering down the left side. Chance to get the shot off and a big, big tackle there. Million. Muscled off the ball, but the chance still here. And Atubolu called into action. Makes a fantastic save to deny Yamamoto. The Japan captain. Back out to Katabach. Does well to just flow one towards the back post. Now the chance. Plenty of height on that one. Suzuki nil nil. Still well and truly in this game. Germany come forward once more. Fleek. He's been on the bench five times this season. Yet to make an appearance for the first. Ansga Knauf. He loses his defender with ease. He's in Gankam able to get the shot off and then. Ooh, that looks like a penalty. And the referee wasting absolutely no time in blowing his whistle. It's uh, Jessica Nganka who uh, wins it. This would be the biggest of them so far. Nganka steps up and slots it home. Cool as a cucumber. Just puts the brakes on his run up for a moment. Looking to send the goalkeeper the wrong way, but he didn't have to in the end because it's a well-placed strike with the inside of the right boot. Germany, wicked little strike there. From, uh, Yamada. Atu Bolu almost caught a little wrong-footed there, but did really well to get another look at it here. Uh, Katerbach and Ali do both following the header on is from the central defender Nishio. Saito, the firm header, well placed as well. To Bolu, scurrying to get back across, but can't get there in time. It's back to all square. It has come on. Chance here for Japan to take a lead, and what a start to the second half that is for Samurai Blue. Who, out of the blue, are now 2-1 up, seconds into this second 45. Oh, well, well. Introduction to the game for Asta. There's Hosoya, the front man. Here is Asta. Can he make amends? The good ball into the box, he surely can! Well, well, well. Hussein Barzic picking up the pieces in the box, but credit to Simon Asta, who is at fault for Japan's second goal. But well and truly played his part in getting Germany back on level terms. And that is great to see as well. of an eye that mistake and then for to settle himself and get the shot off and he snuck it inside the near post there and he had to come out and attack it to really get a tackle in and it's good goalkeeping can come looking more and more dangerous with every attack here for Germany 
Bach gets a hold of it and carries the ball forward into the Japanese half. Just of efforts in the end from Hussein Bazic. Not a really good opportunity though. Thick. Moto out one thick. Simulata. And he cross it towards the edge of the penalty area. Comes back out to Alidou. Floated ball over the top. Malone does well. In the half volley. Bring forward through the middle. Out wide to Katerbach. Early ball in. Give it away. So it's coming on to replace Killian Fisher. Who's Asta again. Another good delivery. Decent attempt. The header there. Goal bound. Here come Germany again. 